Blood stagnation is basically blood congealing or becoming thick somewhere. And this can happen from situations where there is deficiency. This can also happen when there are reasons of excess. So if there's not enough chi in the body, spleen chi deficiency, overall chi deficiency, then there might not be enough energy to actually move the blood at a good pace through the blood vessels. And you kind of think about a river in this context, you know, if there's not enough fluid or water in the river in the first place, the river doesn't have any power within it to flow. So imagine that that river is just kind of dried up into puddles or even just like muddy, muddy patches, then trying to move that blood, there's not, there's not enough volume in there to push it in the first place. And you can imagine that that pushing of not enough volume will also create pain. So sometimes this is what's going on with uh, irregularities in the menstrual cycle. There can be blood stagnation, but there's just not enough blood there in the first place. So we really need to tonify. And then other ways that blood can congeal in the body could be from heat, heat in the blood. Heat can also dry or damage fluids. So you might get blood becoming kind of thick or congealing when there's been heat affecting the blood vessels. Blood stagnation is considered to be kind of an advanced pathology and it's definitely something that we want to take care of. And that could be having a look at the diet, of course, but also looking at the dynamics in the body that make sure that chi and blood are flowing well in the first place. And these can be things that are taken care of really well with our techniques of acupuncture and even our herbal medicine.